Hello loves, this is Liv right now. Welcome back to my channel. Today I am coming to you because I did a DIY on my channel where I added these two Z Gallery inspired paintings and I will leave a link down to that tutorial below. And I was going through YouTube and I saw this beautiful project on a channel by a young lady by the name of LG Queen Home Decor. And I was wondering if I was going to post this tutorial because the plates are hard to find. But luckily, if you're a regular Dollar Tree shopper, you notice that things that were available last year this time are becoming available again. And last year, these plates were available holiday time frame and the silver bowls are already back in the store. So I'm assuming the plates will be coming soon. I'm going to place the plates down without gluing them down first, just so I can make sure that I have the placement right. Please make sure you use a low temperature hot glue gun because if you use a high temperature hot glue gun, it will melt through the plastic. I'm going to let the glue this part down first and then fill in the rest of the way so it all flows in even. So I'm going to do that now. Okay, here we are with all the finishing. You see, we got a little bit of edge left over. So I'm just still going to take it and put hot glue down here and still keep going on just like normal. I'm going to take these plates and do the second level. And the way that I did this was I did like the middle there. Then I noticed it was four, three, four. So here's another one. Middle of the four, middle of the four. Then come in here. One. Like that. So the best way to explain it is like and you put those two in those two rows, but as you can see, it's not four here. So, get four, four. You don't need a lot, just a little bit. Then you take that plate and put it right in the middle of those. And you do it like that. So I, I like it like this, but I wanted to add a little something, but I didn't know what. So I came up with the bright idea of adding these glass gems from the Dollar Tree, the larger ones. And I really like the little extra that it gave it. Plus, like I said, these mirrors are so fragile. And if you if the hot glue is a little too hot, it will do that. So, or dip just a little bit. So I wanted to be able to use something that will um, cover those pieces up. But it really gives it a nice look and it covers up those little imperfections in the plate. Cause these are plastic plates. Of course, you can use... Um, E6000. I, I would put, I wouldn't recommend using hot glue. Using, I knew I knew, but it works. This fabric tack is a permanent adhesive, but is a fabric adhesive. But when I tell you this stuff is wonderful, I've been using it on almost everything, and you only need a little bit.
The one thing I noticed when I had did the other one and I had used the hot glue, all of a sudden I heard these things <laughs> falling from everywhere. Cause that hot glue was it was not heavy enough to hold these pieces on. Learned that the hard way. So at first I was just putting the jewels on the top layer, but I ended up putting it on all the plates and I really like the way that it turned out. Okay, here is a spare piece of wood that I had on. This is a completed one and as you can see, this is the wood or the piece and I already got the hardware on the back. I'll show you in a second. This hardware was already on here, but I added this myself with just little nails and this little piece here, I got these from the Dollar Tree and that way I can hang it on the wall with just one nail. I'm just gonna take the glue you don't need a lot, but enough because this stuff do spread as it dries. Then I'm gonna take this piece and put it right on top of that wood piece. Make sure that this is gonna be exactly where I want it. Like that. I'm gonna let this dry overnight. And here we have the finished product. I put them side by side. As you can see, um, there's a little bit of space in between there, but to me, it's not really noticeable. Um, those other uh, DIY paintings that I had there at first, I moved them here. You see, I have one there, and we have one here. And I'm trying to stay up because I don't want to show y'all the other DIY project that is coming soon. But I just want y'all to see where I moved those to, and I actually like them better there. And again, really want to thank that wonderful YouTuber for um, bringing that idea to her channel and I will leave a link down below for her channel because this was really a nice DIY this is one of my favorites like when people come in they gravitate straight to this so I really thank God for her creativity and her willingness to share so thank you I hope you guys liked it and like the way that it turned out if you have any questions please put them down below and I try my best to answer those questions. As always, be your own kind of beautiful because you, my love, are beautiful. See you next time. Bye.